game shows that would never exist today. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet another exciting video featuring game shows that should never have existed. Back in the day, television shows boasted tremendous fun episodes that none of us wanted to miss. Some hosted individuals and put them up against each other completing challenges. Innovations went the extra mile of making things spicy by involving wild animals on set. Today, we'll piece through this remarkable list. Well, today, we'll take a closer look at some bizarre game shows that would have never have existed today. We'll look over awkward games that would have given human and gender activists a field day, tearing these shows apart. Number 7. Man vs. Beast To start off our list, let's look at this insane game show that you'd be surprised aired on television. From 2005 to 2013, a bunch of producers thought it would be smart to put human beings up against different wild animals. The competitions try to test human limits against that of animals. Some of the crazy challenges featured were a sprinting competition between world-class sprinter Sean Crawford against a zebra and a tug-of-war competition against an orangutan. Some of his most popular episodes were that of a bear and a man testing their absurd eating capacity. The two were challenged to see who would manage to eat the highest number of hot dogs. Who would have thought that it wasn't a good idea to feed bears hot dogs? In another episode, a renowned sprinter was put against a giraffe in a sprinting match where he won. Though his next opponent was up for the money and was also well trained from the several wild goose chases by its predators. He lost his next race to a zebra, which sounds pretty accurate as a zebra spends almost half its life running away from being a lion's meal. One of the strangest episodes was a competition between a bunch of little people against an elephant in a contest of tug-of-war. They pulled and pulled for several minutes. I wonder who won? This show crossed all the red lines and went above and beyond almost all animal rights. These animals were exploited and put at risk for the amusement of people. Well, the animal rights activists had a ride with this one. What did the animal contestants win at the end of the show? I hope the bear didn't end up sick or worse after greedily eating more than half a dozen hot dogs. This was a risky way to gun our popularity. Some of the animals featured on the show are known for their violent tendencies. It's unlikely that the producers of the show followed the guidelines and regulations before launching such a show. Soon enough, the long arm of the law caught up with them, closing down only after a few episodes. But do you think that's the worst game show? Buckle up and feel free to grab a bucket to hurl in, because this next one will leave your stomach churning. Can you imagine a competition where after eating a heavy meal, you're put in a dicey situation and awarded for not puking? Number 6. Hurl How about someone who airs a show where they can put a bunch of people against each other to see who can chow down the largest amount of food in mere seconds? This makes you wonder where this producer got such a crazy idea. It's bad enough to have you sit through an episode of watching people fill their mouths with huge chunks of food. What's worse is putting them through some strange activities, expecting them to try and keep their food down. Yes, you heard that right. This show will feed you and make you do crazy things. The challenge is to ensure that you don't hurl up to win a cash prize. Contestants ate through a bunch of foods like mac and cheese, cauliflower soups, meat with mustard and mayo, and burgers in large quantities. Soon after you were done eating, you had to take a swimming race against the other contestants for several laps. Very few survived this challenge without hurling into the pool. I hope they closed that pool down after the show ended because that's just nasty. Those are some very devastating activities to put yourself through just for the sake of money. I hope that none of the contestants got injured in the process or went home with a stomach ache. Did you know that overfeeding can cause a series of health issues if not taken seriously? Moving forward, next we explore one culture that is known to have some very interesting and strange games. It may seem bizarre, but these guys are accustomed to being weird. Welcome to the wonder that is Japan, where live TV competitions are a norm in that society. Number 5. Gaki no Sukai the official name of the show is Downtown Nogaki no Sukai Ya Ari Hend. This translates to Downtown's We Aren't Errand Boys. 
Almost assuredly, some meaning is lost in the translation, but the game is just as strange as the title. It has a couple of odd challenges, one notably being where a game master places a chair in the middle of a room and a blindfolded contestant has to find it, hoping it never ends in an injury for any of the contestants. But it sure did make many laugh seeing grown men stumble across a room and bump into the chair over and over again. Being a talk show with many guests, it was a sure bet to have lots of entertainment. There were intricate episodes recorded where the guest was punished for losing a game. Strangely, this was one of the most influential talk shows in Japan. Maybe we could attribute its popularity to the controversial topics discussed? How about the Silent Library game, where a bunch of comedians try to define different words or phrases, and if you fail, you get punished? One guy got his nose pulled just because he failed. What an extreme sport, literally. But if you think that's strange, get a load of this. Number 4. The Moment of Truth Who in these digital times would willingly embarrass themselves by airing their dirty laundry on air? Well, in 2008-2009, some people found this amusing and made an entire show about the truth. The catch, however, is that you had to take a polygraph before becoming a contestant on the show. You were asked a few questions and the result was retrieved. Once you were picked, you sat in a chair and you were asked a couple of questions. One or a couple of those questions coincided with the ones asked when taking the polygraph. Your answer was matched to the truth obtained from the polygraph. If you answered correctly and honestly, you walked out of that hall a couple of bucks richer. But many walked out with broken marriages, exposed affairs, and tinted self-images. What a game! Would you consider yourself a winner after losing every other thing in your life other than money on TV? In the digital age where everything you do or say sticks with you like lice, this game wouldn't be produced today. Anyone from a fiancé to a potential employer could learn some unkempt things, all just intruding about your life. And what would you get? Some cash that didn't last long? Number 3. Queen for a Day Most of millennials in Generation Z are often attacked by elders claiming that they're unruly and pay little regard to people's situations. Surprisingly, this criticism comes from a generation who found it amusing to cheer up people's sad stories. Apparently, in the 1950s, there was a show that aired whereby women would come and narrate their stories in hopes that they could win a cash prize to help them out of those situations. The majority of them came in search of funds to help their sick or disabled children or partners. Others were deep in debt and needed financial support. The stories would be told to the host and the audience, after which the winner would be chosen. The audience would cheer and a meter would be used to gauge which contestant's meter ran highest. Sarcastically, the winner would be clothed in a robe and a tiara. It's such a sad and weird thing to think that people got thrilled at this and sought to exploit innocent people in difficult situations. Thanks to a new era, we can help silently and even anonymously. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Ak Bingo This was a Japanese show that featured the girl group AKB48. In the show, the girl group was challenged to answer quiz trivia and cultural news questions and seemingly participate in some not-so-fun games. Occasionally, they would invite another girl group and compete against each other. The most excessive game played on the show was when the contestants had to blow a roach into the opponent's mouth through a pipe. Well, that's just disgusting. The thought of swallowing a cockroach isn't interesting. If it thrills you, then here's two Japanese girls competing to see who can blow a cockroach into the mouth of the other. Or is it that they were testing to see who has stronger lungs to blow away stuff? Who knows? Some girls ended up swallowing the whole cockroach while their faces turned blue in disgust. I wonder how much of the saliva of the opponent they each ended up consuming. This variety show was a constant ploy amongst the girls to play pranks on each other. They once played a round of Russian roulette using a toy gun that could pop a balloon. How about a guessing game where your teammates can see what's in the box, but you have to dip your hand into a hole and feel the item or thing? Well, guess what? They ended up touching toads and octopi and some strange, gooey animals. If it entertains you, here's a video of a little girl screaming when she realized what she'd touched. 
Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! And number 1, The Chamber. This game is featured in an actual torture room where contestants would be tortured while they answer questions. The torture techniques ranged from being exposed to high temperatures or really low temperatures, or being put through muscular contractions or getting zapped. As predicted, this show didn't end well with one of its contestants having to be hospitalized due to hypothermia. They sued the show after this occurrence. So would any of these shows actually entertain you? Let us know in the comments down below.